Hello friends, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to learn how to install Hyper-V when you have installed the Windows Server machine inside a VMware workstation platform. So that is already you are using a virtualization platform. On that virtualization platform, you have created a virtual machine and in that virtual machine, you have installed Windows Server 2012 and again you are going to install a virtualization platform so virtualization on on a virtualization platform it becomes a nested virtualization and when you try to do this uh, like i have, i'm installing uh, you can say uh, the hyper v i'm using vmware workstation i have installed uh, you can say windows server 2012 inside one of the my machine if i go to the server manager if i uh, click on manage add roles if i click on next then next next if i select the hyper v role then you will see that i will get a error which normally you people also will get when you are installing hyper v and that windows machine is actually present on a vmware workstation platform so this error you will get that hyper v cannot be installed a hypervisor is already running so we cannot install a virtualization platform on already running virtualization platform. Now how to enable this that we are going to see in this video. So we will close all these windows. I will shut down this machine first. So you have to shut down your virtual machine. Once the machine is shut down, then what you have to do? Go to the left pin where actually you can see the uh, machine. So right click that machine the windows server machine and then click on open vm directory once you click on open vm directory you can see one file which is a virtual machine configuration file right click that configuration file go to open with option and say notepad so open this file with notepad option now what we are what we are going to do we are adding certain strings which will bypass this particular problem and then it will allow you to use the Hyper-V on the VMware platform. Now what are these three entries or three values that we have to enter? So you can see these three entries which are there. Hypervisor.cpuid.v0 is equal to false. MC.enable is equal to true. VHV.enable is equal to true. So you have to enter these three values. So already I have copied it on, into one notepad file. I will go to that configuration file again so which we have opened in notepad at the end of the file so remember at the end of the file you have to paste or you have to enter these three values so these are the three values we have added extra inside the windows server virtual machine configuration file so these three entries are to be added then you can close you can say save because we want to save this uh, three entries also in this file once you save it then uh, you can again open or you can run the virtual machine now the virtual machine is started and now we, we will see whether we are able to install the hyper-v whether that problem which we have seen in the beginning that we, we, are, we are not able to install hyper-v and it was giving an error so we will see whether that problem is solved or not so we will log in into the machine now so i will enter the password So I have logged it into my machine. Uh, by default, server manager will open. Then again, we will go to the manage option. Then we will try to add the role of you can say Hyper V. So I will go to manage, add roles. Again, the same procedure will follow. Now we will select the Hyper V option. And now you can see there is no error which is coming now. So previously there was error, but now I can proceed ahead by selecting the Hyper-V option. So this is how we can install or you can say prepare our machine to install the Hyper-V without any error on the VMware machine platform. So thank you very much for watching this video. Also see the other video of actually how we will install the Hyper-V and then what are the other you can say options which are available once you install the Hyper-V. Thank you, thank you very much.